Hello everybody, Death Row here once again, and we're back to Forgotten Worlds. Coin Ops Forgotten Worlds. This is the version 4 Plus, and it has got a ton of console stuff in it for us today. Let's pick up the Xbox 360 controller, yes. I'm a bit poor to get the uh, the Xbox One controller. Well, then again, it is on my Xbox One. Let's take a look. Here's the favourites. Can't, you can't really go through them all because there is a ton of stuff on here that uh, Brittany's Peers has has organised for everybody today. I am a bit slow getting this video out, but as you can see, it's definitely got the greats in there. Let's get out of the favourites then. Console, you've got GameCube games. And these are some of his favourites. I wouldn't say mine. Well, you know, the Afterburner, that looks like a PS2 or 3. I, I wouldn't have a clue. PC Engine. Sega Nintendo. Sega Mega Drive. And, and these collections are beautiful. Just, just look at the... On the right hand side here, you've got the wheel with all the uh, clear logos on it, that's brilliant. And then in the centre you've got a nice video of the, the current title. Then on the left hand side in the same frame you've got a bit of a... bit of a graphical thing with the controller of the particular system. And some strange looking creature. Well they're not all creatures, you know, if it's a shooter, it's a ship. There we go, some games have the uh, particular characters. But I have to say, uh, here's a Dreamcast game. This is a beautiful package. It's only 152 to 3 gigabytes. And he's got his old school sec section here again. I used to love this game in the arcade, Sippy Race. Track and field. I don't know how it was called Hyper Olympics over here in New Zealand, but... Uh, I guess in the US they decided on track and field. Now Tubin is a game that I've never really had working because of the control scenario in it. Oh, I love Time Pilot. Tetris was a game I never really got into in the arcades. Uh, you know, I'd rather play Time Pilot than I would Tetris, I can tell you that now. Super Sprint I used to love. Remember that in the doghouse here in the local uh, hood, hood hangout in the city? Never played Stargate in the arcades. I never saw Defender 2 in the arcades here in New Zealand. I only saw Defender. You know, Star Wars is, you know, that's a given. And at the moment, as you know, Arcade 1 Up have just recently announced the uh, the Star Wars collection, the vector versions of the game, with the original control panel too. Looks brilliant. Ah, uh, got Space Invaders there. What else have we got here? Let's uh, give you a little bit. I used to love Sea Fighter for Sidian in the arcades. That was a fun game. Phoenix I loved in the arcades. Pingo I loved. Mr. Do was a good one. Moon Patrol, yes. Moon Cresta was a favourite of mine. Marble Madness I was never really a big fan of. Oh, I love Lunar Rescue. That was a brilliant game. Gino First was another classic I loved. And Jungle King used to be at Daytona Park in Christchurch. I think the only place it had it, or the doghouse did as well. I, I just can't remember to go back. Let's get on and move out of old school. Let's have a look what he's got in his run and gun. Now, are these just console versions or arcade versions? Maybe they are arcade, I'd say. Yes, these are arcade. Beat em ups. I used to love bad in the arcade. But as you can see here, folks, he's done a brilliant job once again. I know it's it's kind of looks the same as the previous version, but he's added a lot more to it. He's, he's added some quality console games. We're going to go back to console in a minute. 
Now, Kicker is also called Showlands Road, and it was never called Kicker in New Zealand. It was Showlands Road here. Now, I don't know which one the bootleg is, Kicker or Showlands Road. It's, it's like Black Dragon or Black Tiger. To me, Black Dragon was the bootleg, and Black Tiger was the original. So, let's beat them up. So now we've got Fight Club. That's like Street Fighter. Exciting hour. That was a great game. Coco Savage, I think, is the third guy you fight in it. Here's a Street Fighter. Oh, you, you just can't go past Karate Champ. It was a brilliant game. Remember playing it in Cornerways in Christchurch when you know, we always would go to the arcade games and play that and have an ice cream, go to the beach. Killer Instinct, I remember that. That's new school stuff in my eyes. Got some great games. Let's move on to the Fight Club. Shoot him up, goes without saying, you know. He's done a bloody good job. Now you've got these different things here, like Top 350, you know, arcade editions, no glass overlays. You can get out of that. Let's go back to the console, folks. Let's be careful with uh, Nintendo stuff. Because they're really, really picky. Here's Dreamcast, Sega Mega Drive, Mega Drive. So what do you call it? Sony PSP. Now turbo charged. Yeah, I never played this game, so I'm going to get into it. I played this. Oh, I actually owned it. I used to work in the uh, industry back when the Nintendo 64 came out. That's why I have the original Final Fantasy VII poster sitting on my wall with Squaresoft still on it. Oh, I never really got much into this. I do have it on my own personal collection, but uh, it's on here, I'm going to get into it again. Tony Hawk, that was never, a, I was never a skateboarder, I, I, don't, I don't know what it was, friends were skateboarders, as we used to call them, wanks on planks. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a PS2 or 3 controller, but it's one of them anyway. Six on the PSP. This has to be PS2. Now that's on the Amiga, I believe. Oh, you should have put the Amiga version on here. That's I reckon. That's on the PlayStation. Uh, here's some GameCube. Oh, there's a Wii game. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, there's 300 odd games. You can add your own games, obviously, but I don't know about the graphical work. You'd have to, uh, you know, work your way through the setup. There's another Wii game. Other Nintendo Wii. But that's it folks, there's so much here, once again, they have gone so much out of their way to do such a brilliant piece of work. I did hear on the grapevine he may be doing an arcade edition. Oh look at this, play that game, I'll get into that. No Star Fox 2. I didn't realise it was Splatterhouse 2 and 3. Ok, that's the GameCube version of Soul Calibur 2. Green Pass of Soul Calibur. Different Sonics. And Sonic Mania, I don't know what that is on. Is it a PC game? Is it a... Seems pretty advanced. It's a Wii. PC Engine, uh, as everybody knows, the PC Engine and the Turbo Graphics and that are all coming out with their mini consoles. 
because the owner owned Port Hudson Soft for the company. But so they're going to this. That'd be quite interesting. Vision Evil 4, 2, 1. Remain Origins for the Wii. Hey, that, that could be quite cool. As you can see here, so much content. If I, if I go through it all, I'll be here all day, folks. And I'm not going to bore you with no. Let me find a game that I like. Back from days. Actually, there's just too many. I just can't find one that I would really love to fire up. Even Berserk was cool. See, Black Tiger. Bloody brilliant. Buck Rogers is cool. Cabal, yeah, that was good. That and Devastators. And there's the two-player version of uh, the Sprint series. There's Championship Sprint for two-player and Super Sprint for three-player. Now, this was a good game, but I remember in the arcades, you had a button on top of the joystick. So, it's a bit weird to play, I think. But for me, anyway. I prefer the arcade joystick. Yeah, I didn't like the Darkstalkers game. There's Devastators. That and Cabal pretty much were around the same. Came out here at the same time, pretty much. He's got Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. Nice, it's actually in the collection. Oh, I used to love it. Oh, yeah, okay. It's there on as well. Galaxian, yeah, I did play it in the arcades, but it was a. It wasn't as good as that. As the uh, Nah, I don't know that crap. Ghost and Goblins I used to play, and when you get up to the cave stage, I used to just get unlimited time, go back and forward, and get heaps of men, and then continue on from there. Golden Axe is a brilliant. Green Beret was good. Gyrus, also known as Venus. Now, what one is the bootleg? Gyrus, I think, is the original, and Venus is the bootleg. Now, these games here, Heavy Barrel and Midnight Resistance used to have octagon controllers where you, uh, they were yellow and you had to move your uh, weapon so you can't really play that on a joystick that's really disappointing IK Plus, oh I love that game Jailbreak was good in the arcades and looking again, that was good that's pretty much it Oh yeah, I can't stop again. All the Marvel guns and little slugs. Yeah, Midnight Resistance was the other one, as I was just saying. It had the octagon style yellow controller. And yeah, I, I don't know how you can play it without it. Because when you move the octagon controller around, that moved your weapon, you know, to the different points. So, like Forgotten World used to use a spinner. So, you know, the front line used a spinner as well. So, big games like that, unless you have that type of scenario set up, they're pretty worthless. Great games, but unplayable in my eyes. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this extended overview of Coin Ops Forgotten Worlds 4 Plus. It has been out for just a, a tad. And give Brittany a, a high thumbs up, you know, next time you see them and that. He just does magnificent work. And he doesn't stop for anything. He has a great mindset. And I just can't wait to see the arcade thing that he's working on. Anyway, folks, don't forget to follow the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. Over and out.